Hi everybody, I'm John Borg from Stern Pinball and we're going to give you a, an intro to X-Men LE Wolverine Edition. Think you got what it takes to be an X-Man? Kussen tag! Join me, stranger. It's a dark future that rushes towards us. The X-Men game has a series of things on it, starting out with uh, Magneto molded figurine, Wolverine molded figurine. Magneto area has a double up post that pops up where it'll hold the ball and is actually a captive ball. Wolverine has a magnet out in front of him. When you hit the Wolverine toy, he's like a large target. And when he moves and a switch is made, the magnet energizes and will throw the ball back at you. Sometimes it throws it up the play field and makes shots for you. We have Nightcrawler figurines that pop up out of the play field. They are like giant targets. Now you see me, now you don't. Only available at certain times in the game. We have a magnetic spinning disc. During Magneto multiball, the balls come spilling out of the lock area onto the disc. The disc spins, and then the magnet releases the balls and they scatter. We have a moving Iceman ramp. During play, after you shoot the Iceman ramp some number of times, the motorized ramp will pivot across the play field and feed the ball into the ramp on the opposite side to set you up for repeated shots. I like to have as much control of the ball in the game as possible, so I always like to have three flippers. We've got a scoop that is fed through an up kicker on the lower part of the play field. This is the Xavier shot. The ball travels up through the scoop and it deflects off an angled surface right at the exit and it propels the ball down the left ramp about as fast as it would as if you had shot the ramp with the flipper. And we also have a scoop on the left side of the game that gives you mystery features and it also is a helper during certain rounds in the game. It'll add time, it'll add a ball into play. All of the LE games are also signed in the lower right underneath the right flipper uh, by yours truly. Okay, we just started the game, and uh, we're going to try to assemble an X-Men team. Each shot that I make, I'm going to collect an X-Men, and when I go into Magneto Multiball, all those X-Men that I completed will be available for jackpots and multiball. First thing we're going to do is we're going to try to shoot for Cyclops, Iceman, and we've got Phoenix, and we just locked our first ball. Automatically put a ball into the Magneto lock when I make that shot. Also on the left side of the game, we have Beast and Xavier. There's also a lot of combo shots in the game where uh, you can uh, collect two X-Men by uh, making a combo shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the left orbit, and the ball travel around the back of the game to the right upper flipper, and then I'll shoot the left ramp where I'll collect Storm. And there's also an inner loop that feeds into the lock where I'll collect Rogue, and I'll also lock another ball. Xavier is in the middle of the playfield, just to the left of Magneto, and that ball will propel the ball through a scoop and fire it down the left ramp. And Wolverine, of course, is in the middle of the playfield, down at the bottom of the game. I'm the best there is at what I do. When I send my fourth ball into the Magneto lock, multi-ball start. Now I will have my vengeance. The four balls will come out of the lock and deposit onto the spinning disc, where they'll stay clustered in the center, and then the disc will start to spin, and then it'll release the balls for multi-ball. Look on me! X-Men, for I am your oldest, deadliest foe. After Magneto Multiball, all of the X-Men lamps will light, and you'll have to complete those shots some number of times to start the mode for each character. If you shoot the left orbit, you can start the Beast mode, and you'll see Beast come up in the display, and you'll have a timed mode where you'll have to try to shoot Beast as many times as you can. The three in lanes at the bottom on either side of the slingshot all read Blackbird Launch. So when you complete these three, the scoop on the left will light, and there's a blue lamp above the scoop that'll start to flash, and when you shoot the ball into the scoop, it'll give you a Blackbird feature. And in the display, you'll see the Blackbird lift up and take off. And at the bottom of the playfield, we've got seven villain features. These will all start when you shoot the ball into the scoop. Two of the modes have icons on them. One is Hellfire Club, and the other is Brotherhood. You'll shoot the right and the left target bank. If you do complete enough targets, it will be a multi-ball mode. The Gambit feature starts from a number of hits in the pop upper area. When the Gambit feature starts, it starts a hurry up or a countdown bonus. You have to shoot the ball through the pop bumpers and not hit any of them. Ball travels around the orbit. What you want to do is you want to push your right flipper button in, which will hold the right flipper up. And as the ball comes around to that flipper, it'll deflect off the flipper into the right pop bumper. And that's how you collect the Gambit bonus. There are two pop up characters in the middle of the playfield. Nightcrawler on the left will pop up. And then a couple seconds before it goes down, it jiggles and then it drops and then Nightcrawler teleports over to the opposite side of the playfield. 
and this is a timed round where you have to hit as many night crawlers as you can. Wolverine is like a large target and there's an electromagnet in front of him and when you strike Wolverine with the ball, the magnet will energize and it will throw the ball back towards you. When you hit Wolverine some number of times, the ball will stop on the magnet, the ball will be propelled off the magnet back toward the flippers. You have to try to strike Wolverine as many times as you can. After you've completed Magneto Multiball the first time, you can go back and you can re-qualify the locks and start it a second time. There's a target on either side of the Magneto entrance that you'll have to strike to enable green lock squares that are uh, about the play field. It'll enable a lock and it'll lock the balls in the Magneto area. When you shoot the right ramp, you're advancing towards the Iceman round. When you've qualified it, this metal section of the Iceman ramp will pivot across the play field to the other side and when that happens, a timer starts and you have to shoot that right ramp over and over again so the ball will travel around the ramp, come over and feed your left flipper and set you up for another shot at the right ramp. There are two wizard modes in the game. One is called Dark Phoenix and the other one is called Danger Room. Danger Room program ready. The Danger Room starts when you've completed all the X-Men features and played all the modes and when you've completed all the villain modes, um, you'll start the Dark Phoenix mode.